Hi, and welcome to Cash and Coins. Today I want to talk about being scammed. Hi, and thank you for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. I want to tell you a little story about how I almost got scammed at a local coin store. First, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you do like and subscribe if you have not already. And please hit the like button. Uh, you know, it really helps me out. And thank you again. I took a lot of time before I could tell this story. I don't like to be negative, but I feel it's something that needed to be said. And I hope that you learned something from my experiences so you can make uh, the best decisions before buying any coins. All right, let me get to the story. I was in Vancouver, Washington, checking out a local coin store in LCS. I also looked around in Portland, Oregon. Uh, if you're not familiar with the area, they are neighboring cities. I don't want to say the name of the store uh, just in case there was miscommunication or a misunderstanding. I am generously giving the shop the benefit of the doubt. I walked in and they welcomed me. They were pretty nice. Uh, they even had 1935 $1 bills sitting on the counter where you could look through them if you wanted to. Uh, there was no problem there. I thought that was cool and how they would trust customers with that. Now I do currently live in Augusta, Georgia, and they just seem to be more a little more vigilant here, which I don't mind at all, I understand. So on with the story. I wanted to buy an Indian headquarter, you know, $2.50 denomination gold coin because I didn't have any pre-33 gold at the time. It was something that I had been thinking about for a while and I was ready to buy something. I wanted something small to start out with. Well, while I was there in the store, you know, I walked up to the counter, I looked in the glass case, and I saw what I thought was an Indian head order eagle, a $2.50 denomination gold coin. And I guess I was acting like a newbie. I kind of was. And I said, hey, is this the real Indian head $2.50 gold coin? I'm looking to purchase some pre-33 gold. A salesman looked my way, smiled, and walked over and said, Yeah, sure. Would you like to look at it? He opened the glass case and pulled out the coin and sat it on the tray on the, on the uh, glass counter. So I picked up the coin and I noticed that it was actually a round. It was a Golden State Mint Indian Headquarter, just like this one. I looked at the salesman, you know, with a puzzled look, and I said, oh, I think it's a little too expensive for me. Thank you and have a nice day. I, I didn't know what else to say. I didn't want to embarrass him. So I turned out, I walked out the door shaking my head. I couldn't believe he just tried to scam me. The round clearly said Golden State Mint. He was looking at me thinking I had no clue and I was and and he was ready to sell this round to me. Just crazy. Every time I think about it, it really was a crazy situation. I do hope that he was just new and didn't know himself. I hope he was making an honest mistake. But on the other hand, I have watched many YouTube videos of people mentioning how they got scammed at on LCSs. And I don't want to say they're all bad. And I'll get into that more in just a minute here. And I don't want to say that their intentions, that it, I don't want to say that it was intentional. I do have to say we have to remain vigilant. So after leaving the store in Vancouver, Washington, I looked on my phone and I found a, a coin store in Portland, Oregon on, on Google Maps. I drove down there and at the coin store, he had this one and sold it to me at Spot. He said the coin uh, had damage to the rim. And it was, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but not anything I would worry about. I checked out the coin like I always do. Everything was great, except for the little bit of damage on the rim. With this, I want to say, yes, you do have some people that might try to scam you or cheat you, but you also have people who are fair and honest. Just know what you want. Know what you're looking for. Familiarize yourself with the coins you wish to purchase before buying anything, especially when buying from an unfamiliar coin store. 
or from anyone for that matter, you know, doing your homework will almost always pay off. But that's my little story. That's what happened with me. And I do want to thank you for watching Cash and Coins. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. In the comments, let me know uh, if you have any interesting situations where you might have been scammed or tried to be scammed or cheated. And again, thank you. And as I always say, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.